Loads of crows. They just flew up out of nowhere. Wow. Anyway, I've got the boys in. What? Really? Are you going to get on my shoulder? Yeah. I've got the boys in. I'm going to worm them because they're just not doing great mm -hmm. and give them a dose of um, um, selenium and um, cobalt. Hopefully it'll improve things. He's got a bit of tree in his fleece or bramble. As you can see, I have my working companion, time. Isn't that right? So after I worm them, they're gonna go into this shed here. They've got hay and water and bedding. And look, I'm gonna have to put you down there. Come on, get down, good boy. So the lads are gonna be inside because I don't want their, they'll be inside for at least a week or 10 days so that um, they don't, uh, the wormer doesn't go and affect the soil or the biology in the soil. I guess sometimes I just have to have a cat in my, on my shoulder. <laughs> so the lads are in, they've been fed and I'm about to dose them. Whoops. Yeah. How are you? So I'm gonna put them into this bit of a pen because if I put them over here, they'll jump out over the side. They tend to, rams tend to jump out. So I'm putting them in this and gonna pull this gate over and do a few at a time just to make life easier. So there we go. So they've got mineral lick and a salt lick. They've got hay. What are you doing out here, huh? I'm letting the rest of the boys in with you. So they've all been dosed. And hopefully this will improve things. Don't jump out. See, once they were dosed, I put them in this pen so that I could sort them out. Now, if you turn around and lead the way, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. So, they're loving the mineral lick. Now, they have had mineral licks out in the field. It's not like they haven't had mineral licks. Um, the salt lick, though, they didn't have out in the field. So they've got a salt lick and a mineral lick and bale of hay and water. And they're sheltered. So hopefully this will improve things. Not as yummy as grass, but hopefully we'll... Uh, We'll get going because it's just been a difficult year. No matter how much grass they've had, they're just not putting weight on. And I gather this is a universal problem across a lot of farms. And so people have been throwing food into sheep, kind of rolled barley and sugar beet and sheep nuts. So it's been a bit of a weird year. Those two ladies are getting very fat and jolly being inside all this time with hay and alfalfa and rolled barley and um, sugar beet. So they're having a lovely time. I'm just hoping the rams don't jump this fence to get to them. That just would not be a good up plan. So you're not to jump, okay, mister? You're not to jump. Just relax, eat food, be jolly.
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. How are you, kitty? Yeah. <laughs> All with the cat. <laughs> you want to get in? Good boy. <laughs> gonna jump over my arm onto my shoulder. Yep. <laughs> Looks like a lot of rain's coming tonight so the horses are gonna have to come in. I'll bring them in later this afternoon. So I'm up here in our top field. The, uh, I'm going to bring the yews up. I've opened the entrance way into this paddock here. I've just stepped over and found this huge hole. It's not, it's dug in, but it doesn't have a, it doesn't go any further. Look at that, somebody dug that huge hole. I think there's another one over here. The beginnings of another hole. You can see dug in there. But I'd say what it is, is uh, I'd say it's a badger. And there's loads of worms in here because this is where I laid out my manure. And this might be a badger latrine. Badgers do toilets. They create toilets but you can see the disturbances they've been pulling at this pulling it back and getting the worms because the worms in these piles are magnificently huge so I'd say that's what's happened you can see the disturbances here I'd say that's a badger latrine more disturbances there and there and all in there. Oh, look, here's another hole. You're sniffing them. Yeah, it's dug in there. That's not a latrine, that would be digging for worms. But there's lots of lovely grass in here as the alpaca are munching away on it. So I'd say badgers come out and feast in this field amongst all these piles and all the beetles and worms and insects that are in them. I'm going to go get the ewes now and bring them up here. So set up for the ewes to stampede down the laneway up towards the fields. Look at some of these leaves that are falling. They're just such a beautiful, deep magenta color. Look at that just gorgeous absolutely beautiful they're coming from the rowans this row in here you can see beautiful leaves the berries the birds have almost finished eating the berries on this rowan this is an evergreen oak here's a holly and a lot of its berries have already been eaten Here's a dog rose and it's um, rosed that haven't been eaten yet. That uh, holly 
those berries are still there. And then this one here, look at that. Beautiful berries on this rowan. Gorgeous. And here you can see holly berries. So some berries ripen faster and the birds prefer and some they don't. Or sorry, they'll eat later because they are delicious. See, that's a lot of berries there. This crab apple last year had loads of crab apples, but this year it has very few and they're very small because there was hardly any rain. They usually eat those in January and February when they ripen into a softness and blackbirds love them. This, uh, oh look, vetch is in flower. Lots of nettles. I could eat a lot of these nettles now. But the red oak is changing its colors there. More holly berries, more rowans. Another holly. This is a sweet uh, chestnut. More rowans. And then the flock all quietly waiting. I'll call and they'll all come stampeding around the corner. Three surgeons are here practicing for the competition, the world championships in Georgia. Oh, come on girls. going to come down here, I hope. Come on! Woo! Come on! Maya, leave them. Come on, girls! Look at the earwig. Come on, girls. Come on. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Okay, they're all there. Now I'm gonna open this gate and they're gonna go up the laneway.
gone the wrong way. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Atta girls. Come on. Good girls. Come on. There we go. A little bit is luxuriating in herself over there, but chatting because the flock now is here. So, hey, ear feather, you coming up? Out. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. looking for some extra food, which there isn't any. Now I'm gonna close them in there. Cause you're all there, aren't you girls? Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. They're all there, all 20 of them. So they've got the top of the wind charger field and the back half or back third of the wind charger field to eat. So plenty of fresh food, though some of it has been eaten by the rams. The main wind charger paddock where that badger latrine was is where uh, the rams were, the back paddock. These guys are gonna get fresh stuff. Look at these, two different kinds of feverfew. This kind, which kind of has a floofy middle on it. And then you come over to this kind and it's the traditional kind of daisy shape. And they're right next to each other. The floofy, you can see they're different to those ones. And then our extraordinarily large mallow. Look at that. This is all sow thistle, but look at the absolute magnificent size of that mallow with its beautiful flowers. Well, I hope that self seeds and we have more of them in there. Absolutely magnificent. Look at that. So ready for the horses to come in. It's beginning to rain. Oh, you got up. I was just to show Inca sitting on your tail. Yeah, your tail is a comfortable mm. thing to sit on for small dogs. Yes. Java, what are you doing in there? Come on, out you come. Good boy. Yeah, you being gold.
Hopefully they're getting in the right stables. Oh, they're not. By the looks of it, Grasshopper is being kept away from her feed by her mother. Hey you, can I come out in? You are in the wrong place. Come here. Can you go next door? There we go. You go in there. Yeah, that's why I always put less in your stable. Because you're getting two horses food. There you go. You've got yours now. All to yourself. There you go. Good girl. Okay. You're bold. <laughs>